What the f is this video? Ugh. Hi friends, my name is Michaela. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and welcome to another Monday video. This video is going to be my college morning routine type situation. Half of it is going to be the morning routine, half of it is going to be like my makeup routine because I, somebody asked to see a like everyday type makeup routine so I'm going to give it to you. So let's get into the morning routine. right now i feel like it's very cliche to just be like i open the blinds to let all the natural light in unless i want to turn on every single unnatural light that is in our apartment i open the blinds and i just like it it makes me feel all like put together and shit you know so i'm gonna eat breakfast now which i do on a daily basis now it used to be a thing that was like every once in a while but i eat breakfast every day now yay breakfast drink water and then after I get ready for the day I'm like a little bit more awake is when I'll drink coffee because for some reason when I wake up and just like instantly drink caffeine early early in the morning it makes my stomach hurt I'm going to probably just take Alani to school today I might after I get ready drink have time to drink coffee but I don't think it's looking like that today this is my college morning routine by the way I'm gonna eat thought I did because my class actually starts a couple minutes before I thought originally. I'm going to insert normal makeup routine that I would usually do right now. Imagine it being at the same exact time. Don't be upset. It's gonna be okay. I promise. I just can't do it right now because I can't sacrifice my punctuality at school for a YouTube video, unfortunately. <laughs> By no means a beauty guru of any standard. I did, however, watch a shit ton of makeup YouTube videos, hair YouTube videos my entire childhood. So I know what I'm doing for myself. I would absolutely never give myself the credit of being able to tell somebody else what to do with their makeup and hair and stuff like that. So I am not the type of person to be able to do tutorials. I don't think that I'm qualified. I think that there are people who are qualified who do have licenses 
licenses and certain standards of knowledge for these types of things and I am not one of those people so I would never take away from those people who do have those certifications and licenses and all that stuff so I'm never going to do hair makeup tutorials on this channel so I wouldn't consider this a tutorial I'm just giving you my personal routine for makeup skincare whatever I'm not giving advice I'm not telling anybody else how they should do things this is just how I do it Okay, just wanted to get that out there real quick. But let's just get into it since this is obviously not the morning that I filmed the rest of this video and I will explain that whole situation later on. I'm gonna start by putting this on my face. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. I just used them. I don't really have a reason why. Um, I also just did my eyebrows. As you can tell, probably it's very red. I'm just shaking up some face sunscreen. This isn't the exact one that I like set out to get, but it is a face one. It's SPF 70, oil-free, lightweight. It doesn't have a white cast. It doesn't make my face feel sticky or anything like that. Primer. That. But I do not use the little pump that's on here. And then I just take a very wet, very dirty blender. Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer Healthy Skin. I don't know. I found it at Target and I bought it, so. I put some right there in the corner and then two little dots out there. Same blender. I feel like I'm gonna get comments saying like, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. If you're nice about it, I probably will appreciate that advice a lot. I have this. I don't know, I've seen this everywhere. I feel like everybody and their mom has this powder, so. I need to get a new one of these. I've had this forever too. This highlighter is also from e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls, like the tip, tip of my nose. And then that is everything for my face. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. I have, this is my favorite pencil, brow pencil. I actually use two brow pencils, so I'm just going to fill in like the thicker parts of my brow. And then I use the other pencil, which is also by e.l.f. It's the same concept, it's just a much smaller pencil part, I guess. And I do front of my eyebrows, I don't know, and then the very end, make them look longer. I use this L Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I do not use it on my lashes. I only, I use both sides for my brows. I don't know why. This is the, supposed to be the lash side, but I use it for both. I take this old ass, crusty ass lash curler and I curl my lashes first. So I just wear falsies every time I do my makeup, really. They work for me. They look really good, so. And they're a lot easier for me than putting on mascara. It takes me so much less time to put on these, especially when I, when I first started doing it, it did take a little bit longer to like get used to, but now that I've been doing it for four months, it's a lot easier than putting mascara on. I just use tweezers to hold them, and then like right there. We're almost done. Last thing I do, or just about the last thing I do is just take some mascara and just blend my real lashes with my fake ones.
this chapstick. Chapstick Total Hydration in Pink Nude. And it is literally the same color as my lips. If you didn't know that I had it on, you wouldn't know. So that is my everyday normal. This is what I wear to work every day. For me, it's very like everyday natural type thing. So thanks for watching my little routine, skincare routine, getting ready for work with me. You know, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>
edited at this point. And I'm refilming this because I hated my energy in it. I hated it. So I slammed an Alani. I slammed an Alani new energy drink. And I am refilming this, this portion of this video because I was extremely, extremely unhappy with it. I was like, if I'm watching this and I'm very bored watching this, how am I supposed to expect people who are watching it to be entertained by what I'm saying if I don't have energy? So I was like, let me just, let me collect myself. Let me take a break for a second, you know, get some energy going, figure my shit out. So that's what I did. So anyway, if you wake up every single morning and you are relaxed in the morning, I am happy for you. I really am. One, you're lying. Two, you have all of your shit together. You know exactly what's gonna happen every single day. There's nothing unexpected that ever happens in your life or your life is just really fucking boring and you have nothing going on. You do the same exact thing every single day. By all means, whatever makes you happy, you know what I'm saying? That's not me. I am very much the opposite of that. I don't feel fulfilled or get joy out of doing the same exact thing every single day. If I did, I would be so bored in my life and I just don't like to be bored. I obviously, I don't wake up every single morning and I'm like, oh God, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Or like, I'm gonna be late already and like, I'm rushing out the door. I don't do that. Okay, it's not that extreme, but it's also not two hours long. I just personally feel like if I were to wake up, me personally, if I were to wake up every single day and do the same exact thing and like have this two hour long morning routine where I could, I had the time to take two hours out of my day just to wake up, I'd be a very boring person. I would never have anything going on. And I am just, I am not a boring person. I really am not. I very much enjoy change. I very much enjoy not coloring inside the lines. Um, metaphorically, that little girl that yelled at the kid next to her because they were coloring outside the lines. I don't want to be her. I don't want to be that bitch. Nobody likes the company of that bitch. I want to be the girl that colored outside the lines and told the little bitch that yelled at her to leave her the fuck alone. You know, live your own damn life. If you want to color inside the lines and use the right colors, the sun has to be yellow, the grass has to be green, the sky has to be blue, you do that. But leave my purple tree alone. Leave my purple fucking tree alone. I want to be that crazy bitch that's got a story. She has a story to tell. She's got something going on every day and she damn well colored outside those lines. But that's just my opinion. That's just, that's just me to each their own. So with that, that is gonna be the end of today's video. I have nothing else to say because I've said a lot. I've said probably too much for some people. But yeah, so this video is officially complete. Finally, I mean, it's only been two weeks. No, it's been like, it'll be a week tomorrow that I've been filming this video. It's just, it's really crazy. And you know what? It's fine. That's what this whole spiel was about. was like, it's fine to not be organized sometimes. There's a point, there has to be a point because I'm not, disorganized per se, but I can be. You know, it's okay that I don't start filming a video one hour and then finish it the next hour or the say in the same day. If I don't finish filming a video on the same day, like I think it's fine. I have other things going on and I have to prioritize sometimes things over this. And I feel like that's true for anything. If you have a part-time job, if you're going to school, if you have a family, like you have to prioritize certain things over others. Sometimes they don't exactly align with your perfect schedule. That was just the point of this entire thing, which is to say like, it's okay to do things out of order sometimes, you know? I actually prefer to do things out of order sometimes. Like, you're too young. You're supposed to wait until you graduated from college to move into your own place. You're supposed to blah, blah, blah. You're supposed to blah, blah, blah. Like there's this like timeline for everyone's life and it's like, okay, who cares? Like, that's what I mean when I say color outside the lines. Just because someone says that you have to get married before you have kids or you can't have kids while you're a teenager or blah, blah, blah. Like, who cares? Like who, who came up with this timeline? Who are you to tell me that I'm too young Young to live on my own. Who the f are you to tell me that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to like survive on my own or like fend for myself or like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Who are you to tell me? Who am I to tell anybody? Who is the next person to tell the next person? Like who the f are you? You're not God, you're not my keeper. So don't come to me saying that you have like this plan for my life already when it's not your life to live, you know? Wow, I'm just like, I'm getting really off topic. I need to just chill out because I already tried ending this video once. So let's just, let's just reel it back in. Let's, let's calm down a little bit because we, <laughs> this is not the video. This is not the time or the place. Let me just get out of here. With all of that said, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I do post a lot of lifestyle blog type content and it's pretty, it's pretty fun here. I have a really good time here. I do, I don't know if anybody else does, but I'm gonna assume they do. If you keep coming back to watch my videos, I appreciate you. If you stay to this point in the video, I freaking appreciate you for supporting me and supporting my channel. Don't forget to like and comment. If you comment, I will respond 110% guaranteed. I will respond to your comment. I respond to every single one of my comments. I absolutely love having conversations with you guys. And I've actually made a couple friends 
through my comment section, which is amazing to me. So that's the end of this video. That's everything I have. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a amazing, fulfilling rest of your day. Don't be afraid to color outside the lines. That's my quote for the day. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye! Yeah.